Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. I've been seeing these videos around online. I want to try it myself. And this time we're going to smoke some candied bacon crackers. Today I want to use a couple products from right here in North Carolina. And I'm also going to be using one from Alabama. The ones that we're using for our crackers, I'm going to show you each one of these. These are smokehouse crackers and this is the barbecue. Instead of using just a plain cracker, we're going to be using these today. They've also got the pizza, all these are great flavors. You can use these for recipes, uh, just to snack on. They also, they used to be a, they used to do competitions and they had a catering company and they've come out with this company here and they are great, awesome family to deal with, family owned company. They have a spicy kind and then this is probably my favorite is the garlic parmesan. We're gonna be using those as our crackers. The bacon we're gonna be using is Bright Leaf, Carolina Packer Bright Leaf, from Smithfield, North Carolina. You see me other talk about in other videos about their the red hot dogs, awesome stuff. Check them out. And then a good friend of mine here, Smoky Bones. This we're gonna be using their beef rub, which is the cattle dust. I think it would kind of offset because we're gonna be using some brown sugar. Let's go ahead and put these crackers together. Most videos, they just use like plain Ritz crackers. This is the cracker we're going to be using. As you can see, I'll show you down here that there's a lot of seasoning on these and they're awesome. Again, you can use these for snacking and you can also uh, grind them up and put them as a coating like for frying and so forth. Put them in mac and cheese, anything you want to do, very versatile. What we're going to do is we want to cut this bacon and you want to use a thinner cut bacon on these and I'm just going to try to get it I don't want it hanging off so I want to kind of cut these this is a kind of a wide bacon it's just going to fit perfectly right here on this cracker and then let me just do a couple you're just going to take and it's not an exact amount you just want to put a little bit of this brown sugar on here. This is just a light brown sugar. And if I wanted to measure it out, maybe a half a teaspoon. And then we're going to use again, the cattle dust. You just want to sprinkle a little bit on there. You just want to get a little bit of a flavor. And that's, that's basically what we're looking for right there. I'll do one more and then I'll make the rest and then we'll get them out onto the smoker. I just want to cut that a little narrow, place it on the cracker. A little bit of brown sugar and then followed by the seasoning. There we go. That's perfect. We're going to do several more of these and I'm going to get them on this wire rack is what we're going to put these on and then we'll get them on our Z grill smoker. All right, we're gonna place these right in the middle here, Z grills. As you can see here, I've got a wire rack. Also using these mats that Z grill sent me recently, kind of keeps it for an easy cleanup, stuff's not dripping down in here. I've got it set at 350 degrees and we're gonna be going about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, 25 minutes. Look how beautiful these look. These are ready to go. We're gonna get them off and let them cool, and then we'll do our taste test. The moment of truth is here. Our crackers are ready. Mason, my son, is gonna give us a taste test as well. Let's take a look at these crackers. As you can see, they've candied up really good, but that brown sugar has melted. The seasoning is already in those crackers, plus the other season we put on there is going to pair well with the, the sweet and the savory. Let's give these a try. Here you go, Mason. Ready? Let me get one right here. Ready? Let's go. Hmm. Very, very good. What do you think, Mason? Good. I've been curious to try these. 
most of the ones that I've seen online have been in the, in the oven. I wanted to try these in the smoker. 350 degrees, it took right at 25 minutes for these. And you can use different crackers, but I highly recommend you try out these smokehouse crackers. They are amazing, just them alone. Add this bacon to it, Carolina Packers bacon, and then the other seasoning, man, this is one great little snack. I would use these for parties and your friends will love you. Give this a try, easy, easy peasy to do. Thank you so much for being with us. If you're not a subscriber, we're on Instagram, we're also on Facebook, and I make little shorts on TikTok as well. Until next time, Mason. God bless.